Till now we have discussed about simple current mirror. Simple current mirror has advantages of output current is exact replica of input current or it may be some multiple times of input current. And second advantage is output impedance of simple current mirror is very high. Even though we are saying very high, it is not up to the mark. So the disadvantage of simple current mirror is nothing but it is going to be having output impedance not up to the mark. So we have to increase the output impedance. Think in this way. If you are going with a simple current mirror, if it is ideal at that time, even though VDS changes, I not should not change. By that time, calculate output impedance. Output impedance of ideal current mirror is infinite. Output impedance you will calculate delta V0 by delta I0. Delta V0 even though it is changing, I0 should not change according to the principle. So something divided by 0, what you will get is infinite. So resistance of ideal current mirror is infinite. But you are getting RDS2 which is very high in terms of mega ohms. But that is not sufficient, you can increase that output resistance. To increase output resistance, we are going for the different circuits. There are three different circuits. One is cascode current mirror, the other is Wilson current mirror, the last one is regulated cascode current mirror. Out of these three, Wilson and cascode current mirror are going to be used as negative feedback in their implementation, whereas cascode current mirror doesn't use any feedback. Simply it increases the output impedance. We will see for this one. What is its configuration? how to get this cascode current mirror. The main aim of cascode current mirror is to suppress the effect of channel length modulation and to increase output resistance of a current source or current sink that is current mirror. So these are the two things. Cascode current mirror is going to be having two things which is going to be suppressing channel length modulation that is zero channel length modulation effect. And next one is nothing but it increases output resistance. We will see the disadvantage of simple current mirror. This is a simple current mirror circuit where M2 and M1 are identical transistors so that I out is equal to I reference. So from this circuit diagram VDS1 that is drain to source of M1 is equal to VGS1 because gate and drain are going to be shorted so VGS1 is equal to VDS1 that is nothing but VGS2 of M2 transistor but VDS2 is not equal to VGS2 drain to source of output transistor is not equal to gate to source of the transistor because the circuitry fed across this output is going to be influencing the output voltage so we cannot say VDS2 is equal to VGS2 since VDS1 is not equal to VDS2 because VGS2 is nothing but VDS1 that is nothing but VDS1 is not equal to VDS2 whenever VDS1 is not equal to VDS2 we cannot expect exactly identical currents at output as input so channel length modulation what it is saying even though you are applying the same gate to source voltage the output currents may differ if the drain to source voltages are differ so as VDS is going to be changes ID changes for the same VGS minus VT that is the normally treated as channel length modulation effect CLM channel length modulation effect so from that one what we can say I out is not equal to I reference so output current is not tracking accurately the reference current then how to make VDS1 is VDS2 so definitely in the simple current mirror there is a chance of channel length modulation effect because of that one I out is not equal to I reference but how to make VDS1 is equal to VDS2 if we make VDS1 is equal to VDS2 definitely I out tracks I reference that is nothing but there is no error no channel length modulation effect so for that one what you have to do is nothing but VDS1 should be equal to VDS2
how to make that so we are applying a transistor m3 for the simple current mirror for that one we are giving the input voltage as vb vb is applied such that the voltage across m2 drain to source and m1 drain to source are going to be same so in this example we are indicating drain to source of m1 as vx drain to source of m2 as vy so we are applying vb such that it is making vx is equal to vy then i out can track exactly i reference so to make vy is equal to vx how much voltage you must apply at vb vb is the voltage that is nothing but voltage drop across vgs3 plus drain to source voltage of m2 that is nothing but vy you can write vb is equal to vgs3 plus vy since vy is equal to vx you can write vb is equal to vgs3 plus vx this is what vb is equal to vgs3 plus vx next the circuit is again modified so what you are applying across vb so that you are going to be getting vd1 is equal to vds2 this is the cascode current mirror circuit this is cascode current mirror circuit and this is the node n where you applied vb voltage this vb voltage is common for m3 as well as m0 remember that one so at node n you can calculate the voltage across node n by going through m0 and m1 as well as by going through m2 and m2 also m3 and m2 so in that way if you write at node n through m1 and m0 vgs0 plus vgs1 vgs1 is nothing but vx so at n with respect to left hand side vgs0 plus vx with respect to right hand side it is vgs3 plus vy if you choose proper choice of dimensions of m0 with respect to m3 that will be giving vgs0 is equal to vgs3 that will be giving vgs0 is equal to vgs3 so that we can ensure okay vx is equal to vy at this node n whatever the equation we have written if you are making vgs0 is equal to vgs3 from this equation at that time can we say it as vx is equal to vy or not definitely so how to make vgs0 is equal to vgs3 so for that one we are making proper dimensions w by l ratios are going to be chosen properly such that vgs3 is equal to vgs0 what is the mm, condition for that one this is the condition if w by l of 3 ratio of aspect ratio of m3 and m0 and m2 and m1 should be same then vgs0 is equal to vgs3 vgs0 is equal to vgs3 satisfies only when the ratio of m3 and m0 and the ratio of m2 and m1 is going to be same aspect ratio of m3 and m0 aspect ratio of m2 and m1 if they are same at that time vgs0 is equal to vgs3 remember that one then we can conclude vx is equal to vy so that we are removing the channel length modulation effect so proper choice if you are maintaining that condition vgs0 is equal to vgs3 which is going to be giving the vx is equal to vy that is eliminating channel length modulation effect first one second we will see output impedance how can we say that output impedance of cascode current mirror is increased this is a circuit diagram of cascode current mirror for that one to calculate output impedance first you have to draw the small signal analysis diagram and next for the diagram you have to apply a test voltage across output terminals and that is going to be driving some test current ratio of test voltage by test current is going to be giving the output impedance by that time no input voltage should influence that is all input voltage should be shorted all input current should be open circuited so this is how you will calculate output impedance first step is nothing but draw small signal model 
small signal model whenever we are drawing just take note of one important point a diode connected MOSFET being fed by a constant current behaves as a constant DC potential what is mean by this one a diode connected MOSFET that is like M3 and M1 being fed by a constant current is a current I reference coming through M1 and M3 are constant or not yeah I reference is constant which is flowing through M1 and M3 so a constant current is flowing through a diode resist diode connected MOSFET and that constant current is going to making constant gate to source voltage at the input side by that time that will be treated as a constant voltage source that is simply it behaves as DC potential so this statement is going to be giving rise to equivalent circuit as like this M1 and M3 are going to be acting as DC potentials so that it is replaced with a DC potential symbol M3 and M1 whenever we are going with small signal analysis DC voltages will not change so they will not be taken into consideration so they will be shorted voltages are shorted current sources are get open circuit so M3 and M1 VGS minus VT the DC voltages are going to be get shorted this is a circuit diagram of cascode current measure this is equivalent circuit diagram under AC analysis for that one you have to draw equivalent model by replacing M2 and M4 with small signal model diagrams so this is the equivalent small signal model diagram of the circuit cascode current mirror so from that one you can think for M2 transistor gate is at ground as well as source is also at ground so for M2 transistor VGS2 is 0 minus 0 that is nothing but VGS2 is 0 so for M2 transistor it is VGS2 is 0 so the current flowing through this equivalent model is nothing but making it as 0 this is very very important GM2 into VGS2 is treated as 0 simply M4 and M2 are replaced with equivalent models while going through the equivalent models this is a current source followed by a resistor current source is nothing but gm into vgs resistance is nothing but output impedance r not since it is m4 it is gm4 vgs4 and it is r not 4 this is m2 so that it is gm2 vgs2 and it is r not 2 like this and vgs2 is zero from the circuit diagram so that this current source is neglected vgs4 even though gate is going to be at ground but source is not at ground for M4 transistor so that VGS4 is existing so we cannot eliminate this current source we should consider this current source for M4 so from this equivalent circuit you have to calculate output impedance that is the ratio of VT by IT so this is equivalent circuit from that one IT equation you can write total current is nothing but current flowing through this GM4 VGS4 and current flowing through this R04 so IT is equal to GM4 plus VGS4 and current flowing through this resistance R4 current flowing through this resistor is nothing but voltage difference divided by resistance voltage difference is nothing but this side is VT this side is VSG4 because from this point to ground you have to consider from this point to ground is nothing but VSG4 VSG4 is also treated as this point to ground this is also a ground so S2 ground is nothing but voltage drop across R02 so R02 current flowing through this R02 is nothing but total current IT voltage drop across this resistor is also treated as VSG4 so IT times of R02 is nothing but like this so VSG4 is IT times of R02 VSGS4 is nothing but minus IT times of R02 
so simply it is equal to gm4 vgs4 plus vt minus of minus vgs4 divided by r4 where vgs4 is minus it times of r02 then calculate r0 by going through the simple analysis the final value are going to get it as r04 into 1 plus gm4 into r02 plus r02 this r02 compared to the first term and this is second term r02 only can be neglected so that it is r04 into 1 plus gm4 into r02 this gm4 into r02 is very large compared to this one so this one can be neglected by that time it is r04 into gm4 into r02 if you assume identical transistors m1 to m4 so that r02 and r04 will be same so that will be treated as r0 square into gm4 so output resistance of cascode current mirror is gm4 into r0 square Whereas for simple current mirror, output resistance is R0, that is RDS2. RDS2 is in terms of mega ohms, and here R0 is nothing but GM times of R0 square. It is very, very large. It is square term, and that too multiplied by transconductance. So, output resistance of cascode current mirror is very, very high, and it eliminates channel length modulation effect. That is the advantage. Now we will consider disadvantage of cascode current mirror. Disadvantage of cascode current mirror. The main disadvantage is nothing but it reduces maximum output signal swing. Maximum output signal swing is nothing but signal swing is simply VDD minus V0 minimum. VDD minus V0 minimum. If V0 minimum is large at that time swing is less. So this cascode current mirror is giving V0 minimum as very large. Whatever we expect it won't give it is going to be giving somewhat more than that one. First we will see V0 minimum expected and V0 minimum exactly from this circuit. Okay, V0 minimum required for this one simply m2 and m4 transistors must be in saturation so if all four transistors are identical at that time all are going with same vgs whenever all are going with same vgs at that time the drain voltage required to keep m2 in saturation is vgs minus vt m4 this requires one more vgs minus vt so m2 transistor requires a minimum voltage of vgs minus vt and M4 is requires one more VGS minus VT. So total output voltage is nothing but sum of minimum voltage required for M4 plus minimum voltage required for M2. V0 is equal to two times of VGS minus VT. This is one VGS minus VT for M4, one VGS minus VT for M2. So 2 times of VGS minus VT that you are writing it as 2 times of VGS minus 2 times of VT. From the circuit, from the circuit we will identify how much is going to be the V0 minimum. This is V0 minimum ideal that is required for this circuit. This amount is sufficient to keep M2 and M4 transistors in saturation. But what is the actual amount in this circuit? So if you are looking at this node that is gate voltage of m4 gate voltage of m4 can be written by going through left hand side this is vgs3 plus vgs1 vgs3 plus vgs1 that is nothing but two times of vgs as we are assuming all transistors are identical so gate voltage of m4 is equal to two times of vgs drain voltage of m4 is nothing but simply one threshold lesser than that voltage one threshold lesser than that voltage is nothing but it is 2 vgs minus vt so v naught voltage what you are getting as minimum is 
two VGS minus VT but what we can expect is two VGS minus two VT so V naught minimum is VT greater than the minimum value required this is the ultimate conclusion we can get so here the output voltage is not maintained at minimum it is maintaining somewhat above that one how much is that value is nothing but one threshold so V naught minimum is greater by one threshold voltage than required minimum value how to overcome this one so how to reduce this voltage so that V naught minimum can be equal to 2 VGS minus 2 VT so that the disadvantage is going to be overcome how to reduce V naught minimum we know output voltage of M4 is going to be one threshold lesser than gate voltage so if you maintain gate voltage of M4 is equal to 2 delta V plus VT then the voltage on the drain of M3 becomes 2 delta V here delta V is nothing but effective gate voltage or it is also treated as over drive voltage delta V is nothing but simply VGS minus VT effective gate voltage or overdrive voltage remember that so every time we are not writing VGS minus VT VGS minus VT like that instead of that one you can write simply delta V how much extra voltage you are applying than minimum required to enhance the channel minimum required to enhance the channel is threshold voltage above that one how much gate voltage you are applying that is overdrive voltage or effective gate voltage VGS minus VT is treated as delta V now if you are maintaining 2 delta V plus VT as voltage across gate of M4 then output voltage will be one threshold lesser than that one so that it becomes 2 delta V 2 delta V is nothing but 2 times of VGS minus VT that is nothing but 2 VGS minus 2 VT that is the required amount so how to get 2 delta V plus VT at that point at gate of M4 at gate of M4 what you are getting is 2 delta V plus 2 VT but what we require is 2 delta V plus VT only for that one what is the modification takes place so that this is going to be overcoming the disadvantage of V naught minimum now look at this diagram if you are introducing a voltage source a DC voltage of VT across gate of M4 at that time before that one this is 2 times of VGS that is 2 times of delta V plus VTH and it will be reduced by 1 VTH so that you are getting it as 2 delta V plus VT now the gate voltage of M4 is at 2 delta V plus VT so that we are ensuring that one V naught is 2 delta V but how you are implementing practically this voltage source this is this is modified current mirror which is going to be giving V naught minimum as 2 delta V so that it is going to be giving the highest voltage swing how you are going to be getting it as 2 times of delta V plus VT so by making M3 resizing that is the width of M3 is resized like that all others are going to be at W and the size of W is W by 4 for this M3 so width of M3 is one quarter of other transistor widths by making 1 by 4 times you can get 2 delta V plus delta V as the voltage across this gate to source that will be applied to this one and this one so finally from this one this is 3 delta V plus 2 VT and 1 VGS will be reduced whenever 1 VGS is reduced here this point is nothing but will be given to the gate of M4 the voltage across this one is nothing but total voltage of this one minus VGS 
vgs is nothing but delta v plus vt so one delta v reduced from this one one vt will be reduced from this so that it becomes 2 delta v plus vt that will be given to gate of m4 so drain of m4 will be one threshold lesser than gate voltage so that this voltage is at 2 delta v and here it is you will get one delta v this one is one delta v so that v naught minimum is nothing but two times of delta v you will get all this is possible only because m3 transistor has been resized to one quarter of other transistor widths if this is not done at that time the v naught minimum cannot be achieved as two delta v so the battery a transistor m6 is going to be acting as a battery m6 is used to drop the potential at gate of m4 down to 2 delta v plus vt this reduces the voltage on the drain of m4 to del 2 delta v because m2 and m4 enter that before m2 and m4 enter the triode region all these things you are getting only because MOSFET M3 is resized to generate 3 delta V plus VT that is VGS3 is equal to 2 delta V plus VT on its gate remember this is very very important if you are going for the current equation ID is equal to beta by 2 into VGS minus VT whole square by that time if you place W is replaced with W by 4 you are going to be getting VGS as 2 times of delta V plus VT instead of delta V plus VT check that one while M6 is used to drop delta V plus VT so that the gate voltage of M4 becomes 2 delta V plus VT so the main thing is nothing but width of M3 is made one-fourth of size of other transistors this is a simple problem calculate output resistance of double cascode current mirror to sink 10 microampere current and also calculate V naught minimum required a simple problem on double cascode current mirror calculate output resistance of double cascode current mirror to sink 10 microamperes current that is nothing but output current is given as 10 microamperes and VDD is given as plus 2.5 VSS is given as 2.5 volt minus 2.5 volts VGS we can assume it as 1.2 volts standard values first calculate R value required R value is VDD minus 2 times of VGS it is not simple current mirror it is cascode current mirror so cascode current mirror is nothing but two transistors are cascoded like this so this is VDD minus VGS minus one more VGS minus VSS divided by I 10 microamperes 2.5 minus of 1.2 plus 1.2 that will become 2.4 minus of minus 2.5 so 260 kilo ohms is the resistance required and we know the sizes of transistors as W is 15 micrometers L is 5 micrometers now calculate R0 R0 is nothing but GM into R0 square so first calculate GM value next we will go for the R0 GM is root of 2 beta ID so beta value is 50 kV beta is nothing but K into W by L K is nothing but process transconductance for NMOS it is 50 microampere per volt square for PMOS it is 17 microampere per volt square into W by L W is 15 L is 5 next ID is nothing but 10 microamperes if you substitute all those things GM will be 55 microampere per volt and the output resistance of single MOSFET is 1 by lambda ID so that is 1.67 mega ohms output resistance of current source cascode current source is gm into r naught square that is 152 mega ohms you will get minimum voltage across output source is 2 delta v plus vt 2 delta v delta v is nothing but vgs minus vt vgs 
is 1.2 volts Vt is 0.83 volts for n mass so 1.2 minus 0.83 is nothing but 0.37 volts as delta V 2 times of delta V is nothing but 2 times of 0.37 plus Vt is 0.83 that will be equal to 1.57 volts you will get